23. 23 tomato plants. Can you watch English football over there, uh, over here? Um, I'm, I'm not into my football, so I don't know. But before any of that, roll intro. Oof, ruining the shot. <laughs> Good morning, chickens. You're already out because Robbie saved me a job. Good boy. Oh, where do you come from? Good morning. From the southwest of France. It's not sunny today. Uh, a bit cloudy. It's not cold. But Lisa would say it is. She's not wearing a big coat today. <laughs> so it's not that. It's not that cold. Anyway, um, yeah, loads of comments on yesterday's video. So I've d I've done a couple now uh, on the Q and A's. If, um, I think you probably asked most questions. Uh, but if you pop along to French Air Trumpet, link in the description. Um, yeah, they do a video every week, Andy and Colin, um, where they talk about most things French. It's a really interesting channel. So, uh, yeah, I think your comments are drying up now. So, uh, my work here is complete. There are, there are a few, which I'll answer a, li a little bit later. Anyway, um, I did some stuff yesterday that I didn't put on Monday's video um, because it was, uh, it made it about an hour long. So, I've, uh, I'm going to show you that now. Let's do that. until after two o'clock before I can mow it. Um, I think I've probably blunted the blades a little bit more. I have to have a, another, another look at the speed today. I'm going to have to have another look or another YouTube video. I'm not sharpen blades. Anyway, next. Grouting. Let's do that.
had a question the other day. For the life of me, huge apologies. I can't remember who it's from. Um, so, if you recognise that it was from you, then uh, please drop me a comment. Um, but the question was, will the children get citizenship? Yeah, they will. Um, so they can apply for it at the age of 17, but they won't get citizenship until they're 18. Now, there's a few criteria that uh, I think they need to have lived here for five years. Uh, they need to be at a certain level of uh, French, which I think is B1. Now, yeah, they're going to be way past B1 by the time they get to the age of 17, um, you know, because they'll have been in the education system. Um, and I think that level of uh, French anyway is if they wanted to work in the uh, in the civil service. I may be completely wrong, please do your own research, but, it, but the short answer to your question is yes, they can get citizenship. And their children, um, when they have children, um, born in France, they will automatically become French. Right, so it's that time of day for the school run. So it's definitely out. Definitely need these scalding off sunglasses on. <laughs> Cue slow mo. Take them off. <laughs> Got some more questions. Right. From from Taff and Diane. Um, how far is the town of Confalon uh, and any large supermarkets? Right, so Confalon, I had to pause it a second because I had to, uh, had to research it. It's 20 kilometres away from, from where we live uh, and, and a 20 minute drive. Right, so there is a supermarket there, um, the Intermarche, which is, we prefer to go a little bit farther afield and go to Leclerc in Rufec, which is about 25 minutes away um, in the opposite direction because Leclerc is loads better. But the Intermarche, if, uh, if you're in Confalon and you need something, it's worth popping into. Uh, hairdressers, yeah, there was a hairdressers near to the old bridge in, in Confalon, but that's closed down now, uh, quite recently. Um, this is not used hairdressers, but I, um, I believe that there are some British expat mobile hairdressers in the area. Um, there is a hairdressers in uh, Champagne Mouton, actually. Uh, which is 12 kilometres away from here, which is where the kids go to school, uh, which is where I get my hair cut, and they do, uh, and they do women too. So yeah, there you go. Um, another question: Can you watch English football over there, uh, over here? Um, I'm, I'm not into my football, so I don't know. Uh, but if you have a look at um, Andy's channel from AJ in France, link in the description, he talks about that a few weeks ago about getting British telly over here. We do get it, uh, so we pay for a, a VPN, and uh, you know, so you can watch the, um, all the English terrestrial telly. But we don't really watch that. We tend to watch YouTube and Netflix. <coughs> um, but yeah, so in short, yes, you can. But take a look at Andy's uh, channel because he gives loads of advice on electricity, um, you set up TV systems, uh, improving your broadband and stuff like that. Yeah, so a question from uh, John, Alaska lad. Apologies about that. Um, can you still get your favourite favourite tipples over here? Right, I like Jack Daniels, um, but even Jack Daniels isn't isn't that cheap. So I get cheap Daniels, <laughs> which is what I call it, which is a Jean d'Avant. Uh, it's about thirteen euros. Uh, Lisa and I also like Pond Star Martini. So um, yeah, but yeah, that's a cocktail, and you can get your. Um, your stuff to go into it, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, Elisa likes Prosecco, um, so JP Chenet, I think that's how you pronounce it, you get for about six euros, it's about a fiver, uh, which is ridiculous. But Lisa's uh, favourite Prosecco is uh, one euro eighty seven. Mental. Um, what are the retirement homes like there? I don't know. I'm actually in my retirement home now, aren't I? But no, uh, yeah, I've just done uh, a little bit of research and um, it's worth Googling it. But uh, yeah, they could be relatively cheap from 1,800 to 3,000 euros a, uh, a month. But there are f four different levels of a um, retirement home from state run to ones that um, are charity based and uh, ones that are attached to hospitals. But that's, that's about as far as I've got in terms of my research. 
if war broke out, God forbid, would you be expected to don the French uniform? Or would you, or would you be called up as a reserve for uh, for Great Britain? I'm way too old for any of that. And um, and I think I've lost mo most of marksmanship uh, abilities. But now, uh, when I joined the police, um, that preclu precluded me from the reserve list. So um, yeah, I'm off the I'm off the one for GB, and I doubt the French would want me anyway. But good question. Who wants a veggie patch update? I know I do. So first and foremost, we've got a nice pretty yellow flower on this tomato plant here. Of course, yeah. <laughs> of course, yeah, I know. Uh, and Lisa set up a, uh, a very own waterboarding system where she can uh, <laughs> water the roots, even on a hot day. I like it. The borage is coming out lovely, isn't it? So Lisa's taken the the netting off the off the uh, tomato plants and how many tomato plants have we got? Uh, last count we had 21 growing over here. Don't even like tomatoes. <laughs> Do really. 23. 23 tomato plants. Nous avons beaucoup de mange too. He's getting big now. At all. Let's do a monster two cam. Oh, hold on. Nice. Peace. You're eating it. This is what I'm most excited about, is the garlic. I love my garlic. Parsnips. Nice. Beetroot. Oh, he's massive. See him? Yeah. These ones are a little bit behind, but... Right, so a lot happened. Um, Lisa and I went to Confalon. Didn't take it. Uh, went to Asiatic, Asiatic. For the bloke who owns it says it's pronounced Asiatic. Yeah. Lovely curry though. Lisa couldn't eat all those, so she brought her own for Robbie. I've done done a bit more tiling. Didn't show you that either, because uh, you've seen it. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> right. So let's get this out of the way. If you're a man, <clears throat> you've got a beard. It's every man's nightmare to uh, use the razor, thinking that it's on the appropriate setting, only to find it isn't. So have a guess what happened to me last night. That. <laughs> it's going to take. It's, do you know what? It's going to grow. It's going to grow back grey. I've then got to dye it. I'm going to dye it. Oh, that's a lot. If, if it was just grey, I'd have look, you're looking like a street drinker. Do you not the look I'm going for here in France? Not anymore. <laughs> anyway. I'm going out on my bike. I don't know where I'm going. But I'll take it.
Right, so we're overtaking you. Um, we're in a place not far from Rufek, about five mile away from Rufek. It's called Vertoy sur Charente, which means virtuous on the river Charente. Um, it's a place where Elisa and I came um, to do a bit of filming for a place in the sun. It's also the place we came um, to um, on our first ever visit to France. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll take you through a walk around. I'll show you. out all afternoon mowing again I'll show you I had to mow that about three times because it's got like a winter's worth of cut wet grass down there that's been drying over the past few days that's not quite dry and just get just clogs up the chute so it doesn't go into the back box so uh, the grass was, was like this down there and uh, yeah so I had to do it about three times, it took all afternoon. It's all destroying but it looks lovely, champagne problems. Anyway, laters! <laughs> 